Hi, mathematicians. Today, we are going to solve some division word problems by using the multiplication strategy of division as an unknown or missing factor problem. So, I was the 25th caller on my favorite radio station, and I won tickets to the One Direction concert. They gave me 24 tickets, if you can believe it. The problem is, we got to the concert kind of late, and we don't want to disrupt the fans already in their seats. So in order to cause the least amount of disruption, I want to send the right amount of friends to each row. Here's the problem. 24 friends fit evenly in three rows at the concert. How many friends are going to be in each row? Okay, so the first step is to determine the division problem or equation. I need to fit 24 friends in three rows, so my equation is 24 divided by 3. Hmm, I wonder if I can use multiplication to help me solve the division equation. Step 2 is to think of the division equation as a missing factor multiplication problem. I can think of the missing quotient in my division problem as the same as the missing factor in the multiplication problem. So now I am looking at the equation 3 times what equals 24. Now that we have turned it into a multiplication problem, let's use an array to help us find the missing factor. Remember, an array is a set of objects arranged in equal groups or rows. So looking at our problem, the 3 tells us that we have 3 rows. We need to figure out how many are in each row. Let's keep counting until we get to 24. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, and 24. Now that we have our total of 24, we can circle each group and find out how many are in a row. There are 8 in each row, so we know the missing factor is 8. 24 divided by 3 equals 8, and 3 times 8 equals 24. So now we know 8 friends can fit in each row. Wow, that was an amazing concert, but you will never believe this. On our way out of the concert, we won more concert tickets, this time to see Justin Timberlake. This time, we were given 28 tickets, and we are sitting really close to the stage, but we were still late. So we want to make sure not to disrupt the audience, so we want to send the exact amount of people to their rows. So here's the problem. 28 friends fit evenly in seven rows at the concert. How many friends are in each row? Why don't you try this problem on your own for a minute? Pause the video and work out the problem using your math journal. Okay, now let's see how you did. Did you remember to follow step one and determine your division problem as 28 divided by 7? Because we need to divide 28 friends among 7 rows. Once you've established your division problem, you can move on to step two and think of the missing quotient in your division equation as the missing factor in a multiplication equation. So, 28 divided by 7 equals what can also be looked at as 7 times what equals 28. Okay, moving on to step 3. Did you create an array to help you solve the problem? Remember, the 7 tells us that we have 7 rows. Let's count. 7, 14, 21, and 28. Okay, now remember it's time to circle the groups in each row. It looks like we have 4 in each row. So, we know the missing factor is 4. 28 divided by 7 equals 4, and 7 times 4 equals 28, which means 4 friends fit in each row. So, the next time you see a division problem, remember, it is really just another way to think about a missing factor multiplication problem. Wait, what? You'll never believe this. I just won tickets to see Taylor Swift. <laughs>